Thank you so much for joining us here on Shaw TV. My name is Kendra Rempel, and today I have the privilege of being joined by the one and only Mr. Doug Faulkner. Now, he is a Wild Rose candidate for Fort McMurray Conklin. Thanks for joining us today, sir. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you. So, just so uh, our constituents can have a chance to get to know you a little bit better, what's your story? How did you end up here, and why did you decide to run? I arrived here 32 years ago in minus 40 below zero in January <laughs> and uh, to seek employment. And Fort McMurray has not let me down. No. It's been a great experience. I have uh, had a 32 years of excitement, 25 years involved in the community as a volunteer and a two-term counselor and a mayor. So uh, this is home. So pretty full slate. So why have you decided to run? I have decided to run because uh, Fort Mc M McMurray needs another strong voice in the government table in Edmonton. And uh, Fort McMurray also is not only uh, no longer uh, an oil play, but it is an energy giant. Mm -hmm. And we need to be part of, uh, of the government in this, in this province. And we need to, to have two very strong, experienced, knowledgeable, and caring voices. So some of the hot topics, we'll say, that are really weighing heavily on constituents' minds, one of the, the largest ones, what do you think the answer is in terms of Highway 63, Highway 881? It's so treacherous. What would you plan to do? Well, wild roads uh, are not like the PCs. It seems like the priorities of the PCs have gone elsewhere in highway construction, uh, in, in, and uh, it is on their bucket list. Wild Rose does not have any bucket lists. Mm. Uh, they are committed uh, to retwinning or to twinning, to restarting uh, work on Highway 63 and addressing these uh, highway priorities around Fort McMurray. Another topic weighing heavily on constituents' minds in terms of we do need a continuing care facility, not only for seniors, but for residents up here who can't necessarily make it to Edmonton. They do need continuing care up here at home in Fort McMurray. What would you say to that? You're absolutely right. And uh, it uh, needs to be begun quickly. Our hospital has done an outstanding job in caring for our long-term care seniors. However, the facility needs to be constructed this year, now, and downtown in the Willow Square location. All right, last question. Are you ready? So up here, we're known as kind of a transient community. We don't want to, you know, necessarily admit that. What is the answer to encouraging people to come out and vote? How do we up the percentage of voter turnout? What do you think? That's a $64,000 question. <laughs> How to get people away from their computers and TVs and uh, commit themselves to voting. Uh, also, I believe that the, uh, that, the, that the issues that have been dealt with this election hopefully will stir the the citizens to go out and vote. Fort McMurray has long needed uh, representation at the government table in Edmonton and now we have a chance to elect two candidates and so it's very important that our people realize that and support us because government is off the people and should be by the people so let's go guys let's get out and vote on Monday. There you go. You heard it from the man. Get out and vote. We wish you uh, all the best. Congratulations. And uh, we'll see you at the polls on April 23rd. Thank you.